Uh, we are joined in the studio by Chelsea Karate Club. We have Jane and Richard with Hello. us. Hello. Hi. And there's a, a special reason why you're here today, because um, there is this thing called the... Uh, is it national? The nation's nation's biggest sports day. Nation's biggest. Oh, that's a big mouthful, isn't it? Really, it is a big mouthful. They're calling it "I am Team GB" as well. It's it's really the idea is that um, they are asking people or trying to encourage people to get involved in sport and recreation. Mm. That's that's quite a, a, a good way of doing things. Uh, you're the only club in the whole of Chelmsford, regardless of the type of sport. You're the only club in Chelmsford taking part in the nation's biggest sports day, and I think that's to be commended. Thank so, you. Yeah. Thank you. Hello. So, uh, the nation's biggest sports day is on Saturday, and your event is on Sunday. Our, our event's on Sunday because we have a class on Sunday, um, and I don't think Dovedales is free actually on Saturday. <laughs> we did ask, but we have a class on Sunday. So, what we're going to do is open our doors to anybody who wants to come along, absolutely anybody, whether they've done karate before with another club, whether they have never done karate before, whether they just want to come and have a little bit of a workout on mm. Sunday morning. We're opening our doors and saying, come and join us. We promise to look after you. We'll be nice and just uh, do a little bit of a karate lesson. Then if they want to stay for the um, final hour of our class, they're welcome to yeah. take a seat, grab a So it's from 10 o'clock. And... From 10 o'clock. Is it free? It is. Wow. Along free crafty class, stuff. you can yeah. try it out. Yeah, you can absolutely try it out. It's brilliant, absolutely. Yeah, and we've got to thank Dubdale Sports Centre because they've given us the uh, the venue. So we've got three courts. So we hope to fill those courts with lots of people. Um, we will have a lot of our um, karate members there as well, so they'll be allowed to help. We've told um, them they can bring mums and dads and <laughs> brothers and sisters Good. and grannies and grandpas. But we'd love to see anybody. Anybody who's interested, or even if they just want to come and watch, yeah, and then um, if they feel like they want to join in after ten minutes, they can do so. It's quite an exciting um, idea to to have a free session where anyone can turn up and have a go. What made you decide to t take part in the first place? Um, we we had read about it on social media, yeah, um, and I thought, oh, that sounds like fun. Yeah. Is that something we can get involved in? Because we do a lot of work, as Richard said earlier, within the community. Mm. It's something we can get involved in. It sounds like it could be fun. So um, I sent off for a pack and <laughs> asked Dovedales if we were, could have the courts. And they said yes. And there we go. That's brilliant. You've got, you've got yeah. a pack and it's got like badges in it's it. It's got and badges. I'm wearing it. a badge right now. You are. Yes. It's got badges in it. It's got um, a banner. It's got some bunting. It's cool. got t-shirts that Richard's modelling here very nicely. <laughs> um, uh, we will have some balloons. We're hoping to have some juice and biscuits and stuff for people to come along and just uh, have a, you know, little little something after the class and a little chat if they want to. And uh, we'll be there from about quarter to ten on Sunday morning. So if people want to come along, they can. It's brilliant, isn't yeah. it? And it's it's so family or orientated as well. You you were telling me that you have lots of families come into class anyway and, and train together. That's absolutely right. Yeah, we've got um uh, a family of five. Yeah. Uh three of which took their black belts in July and all passed. And then we're hoping that the other two, the father and another and another of the daughters, um, can take theirs and pass in November. Um, we've got families of four uh, that are all black belts. Um, we've also just had a, a new family who've joined. There's a mother, father, and the, the son and daughter as white belts, so they've just kicked off. Um, but there's lots of families, and it's a great activity because you can be in the same class training alongside um, your son or daughter, your mother or father. Um, and so... It's one of those activities where you can mm. all go along and you can all progress at your own pace and hopefully get uh, some good physical exercise. Because some parents turn up and they, they sit at the side for the duration of the lesson and they play on their phones, which is okay, <laughs> but they're not really seeing what their children are doing. No, no that's right. This is We don't actually um, have the parents sit in because the classes are so big. If you had mm. everybody's parents sit in, there'd be no room for... For training, so we do at uh, Dovedales just say, you know, drop your kids off, and then if you if you're going, that's fine. You know, if somebody said to me when my kids were young, go away, have two hours free, yeah, go and have a cup of coffee and read <laughs> a book. I would have been paid them anything for, for that, to be honest. But, well, but actually, um, 
So we had one father, didn't we? He's, he's, uh, he's got twin sons. They yeah. started. Next, the older sister. Yeah. Then the other sister. Yeah. And then they were play fighting at home. Yeah. And the dad said, I can't cope with it. And he's six foot five. <laughs> he said, they're so, all attacking me in the kitchen. And so he like, said, I may as well join in. And now he's 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 one of those guys that is going to go for his black belt, hopefully in uh, so, November. Wow. How long have they been with you, this family? Probably about five years now. Yeah, four or five years. So it takes what, about five years to work towards black belt from if you're starting as a beginner? In, in exceptional circumstances within our organisation, you can do it in three, three and a half years, but that takes a lot of hard work. Yeah. But yeah, we do have it. kids, and we do have people who train with us, not just kids, who train three, four, five times a week. And what happens once you get to black belt? Is, is there any progression from black belt? Yeah, we've got um, a lot of uh, students that have taken their... The first Dan is the black belt. Right. And then they have Dan grades beyond that. Um, so we've got second, third, fourth, and two-fifth Dan sitting in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what what sort of options are there? Once you get to all, like the uh, the first Dan, second Dan, do you, do you turn in, like, become teachers yourselves? There is, there is the option. I mean, uh, as as instructors, we still train. Yes. So we will travel all over the country and we will go and train with um, instructors like a ninth Dan, eighth Dan's. We invite some of them also uh, to Chelmsford. Um, but there is the option to sort of grow and develop into a coach, and many do. Yes. Um, also, uh, there are people that will try and do competition for a long time. Yes. I, I competed for a long time. Yeah. And then eventually I decided that I wanted to um, support and become a referee and an official. And so there's lots of different activities that somebody can do within karate. But fundamentally, it's the training that most people enjoy. Yes. Um, and it's then how the, how do they support the club or the, the wider organisation and still keep involved in all the activities. And it's like the family sense and, and the, uh, the friends you make. When oh, you're goodness training. me, absolutely. We always say we're a family in there. Yes. Everybody's very supportive of everybody else. And it's, it's, um, it's an Olympic sport in Japan next year? It's an Olympic sport in Japan for 2020. Yes. Unfortunately, it's not for 2024. <laughs> but our chief instructor, um, Sensei Andy Sherry, who's 76 and still as fit as a fiddle, <laughs> he actually competed last time they had karate. He was one of the European team members. He was the only Englishman. Um, to compete in the European team in, was it Mexico? Mexico, 1968. 1968. Goodness me. Impressive. It is. It's very impressive and, and like a, a champion and still actively involved in the club. He, he, he trains every single day, this man. He's the chief instructor of our organisation. He's based up in Liverpool. He's a very big supporter of our club. He's yeah. down here three or four times a year. Um, and he trains literally every single day. Fantastic. He even trained on his 76th birthday. <laughs> <laughs> and why not? Yeah. What else would we do with our lives? <laughs> yeah, there, there is more to karate than sit, sitting down and watching the karate kid. It's it's so diverse. It's fun. Don't be bashing the karate kid. That, that what? looks very good. Well, remake it's a it's very good it's, movie. But it's, it's stereotyping that. a little bit, it isn't it? Is, it? And there's, there's more to movie. it. I won't be having you back in the film. <laughs> <front of my laughs> I'm being told off. But it, 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 the Karate Kid stereotypes the sport yes. a little bit. That's that's all you see is a you know the competitive side. Yeah. You don't see the the day to day training or the the, the week to week training. You mm. don't see the fact that we have children who started at five who have worked their way up, done the young leaders' qualifications, become instructors and are now coaching. Wow. You know, you don't see the fact that, you know, we've got a, a woman, a girl who's a, she's 20 now, is she 21, Tia? She's, she's a European silver medalist and her younger sister started at age five and she's now 16 and, you know, a young leader gold level. I mean, wow. our own daughter started when she was 10 she went through the young leader process she did the assistant instructor instructor process she's been an england team member she's competed she's a national champion i mean there's so much for the kids to do within yes. the karate world it's not just about competition so yeah. if people aren't interested in competing they don't have to but we find that actually the kids like the competitive aspect of it wow that's so impressive I think what we'll do, we'll have a song, we'll come back to you and we'll give out contact details if anyone's interested in getting involved with the club. Absolutely, thank you. Thank you. 
Uh, my name's Michelle. Jared's in the studio. We're still yeah. joined by Richard and Jane from Chelsea Karate we're Club. Here. They're here. Hi. And we're enjoying ourselves, aren't we? We are. We are. Yes, having a good old chat uh, when the microphone's switched off as well. And um, we need to give out contact details. So we, we've the club's absolutely fascinating. The history, the sense of community, the the, uh, the the sense of family that you have in your club is so amazing. And if anyone wants to be part of your family, then how do they get in touch with you? Well, they can either come to Dovedale Sports Centre, which is our main home. Yeah. Um, or they can find us on the web, which is www.chelmsford-karate.co.uk. Mm-hmm. We have a Facebook page, Chelmsford Karate Club. Yes. And um, I'm happy to give out my phone number if it's, you think it would be useful. Well, if people are interested, um, they can email in for your phone number rather than okay. give it out. Okay, no, that's great. Um, but, yeah, I mean, so you've got your own website. We've got a website. It looks amazing. We've got Instagram. We've got Twitter. A YouTube channel. Oh, you have? A YouTube channel. You've got a YouTube channel. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. is cool. So people can see videos of um, some of your training classes. Is that what's on there? Yeah, you can see some of the... Um, we do set forms, which are katas. So we, we have the sort of syllabus on the set forms up to Black Belt. Um, we have some old videos of Jane and I when we used to compete a long time ago. And we have some videos of some of our, our own students and what they've done. Um, it's an ever... Uh, growing kind of sort of site and we've got lots of videos to put on it's just taking the time to load them up but um there's a there's a bit of history there wow fantastic so uh once again the website address is www.chelmsford-karate.co.uk excellent so uh if anyone is interested in finding out more about the chelmsford karate club and richard and jane uh go to the website or try and look them up on on their facebook page or uh look them up on youtube watch some interesting videos you were rolling your eyes at, at uh, the mention of old videos of you jane um anyone interested in that <laughs> there's some interesting videos on there actually because um i mean i for example um just for me, I mean, as I said to you earlier, I'm, I was a chronic asthmatic from birth. Yeah. And I still have um, asthma. I still um, suffer with my lungs, being diagnosed with COPD. It doesn't stop you doing something. No. Because you have a, a long-term or, or a, um, a health problem. Richard uh, was diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome after, um, after he had an accident years yeah. ago. Um, and part of his rehab, actually was to come to karate yeah, and just take it and pace it so you know fantastic. you can do it it can be done by anybody you don't have to be a teenager and and um, yeah. you know a fit person to be just to do karate you take everything at your own pace so we think it's wonderful for people sounds amazing so do get in touch with jane and richard at chelsea karate club if you want to follow up on that Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having Thank us. You. And uh, I hope you'll come back to us very, very soon.